Alrighty, so back in. I'm seeing so much leverage one stuff, it's it's gonna be kinda dumb if I don't at least get one level of it. Let's see. There we go. Jeez. It's a little bit weird when you have objects that huge, but. Ooh, 8282. Ballistic safe. Handy. Yeah, I can move all this stuff now. Cool. Huh. So were they just tossing stuff in for them to try and mimic? Huh. Those are recycle grenades. Breach fail safe. Oh! Okay, so if this if this room gets breached as well, this would fix it. Or at least it would lock the door. Alright. Zach Daniel, synthetic, okay, cool. Huh. in his quarters. Dr. Thorstein's. Dr. Thorstein's quarters. Okay, so this is them figuring out the uh, the mineral stuff, and they got a bit of the... Ooh, another recycle church. And they got another... Uh, they got some of the uh, the Typhon stuff into the... Uh, into the test chamber. Okay. So maybe, maybe they weren't actually intentionally testing. Maybe they were just dropping stuff in the recycle and seeing what they get. Yeah, hang on. Recycler charge went off my foot in range. Game material that once a part of me is now neatly compacted into this sphere you see before you. Take heed. And I just picked that up. <laughs> Would have been nice to read the note before I did that, but whatever. <laughs> so this is actually really interesting. They're testing exactly how much, uh, what the yield is on this. Huh, okay. This is, usually this is uh, actually really interesting, because um, usually in stuff like this, in Minecraft mods, like you have to ask yourself, okay, how much does something break down into like in raw materials? It's kind of like an uh, alchemy of a sort, and it, you figure out what you can do that and turn it else into. And you always have to wonder how exactly do they figure it out, and this lab is exactly how. They just tested the shit out of it and just write, wrote down all this. That's actually really interesting, though. Grenade container. Ballistics chamber. Oh, this chamber sealed. There's like a EMP torch. Open chamber, which sounds like a terrible idea right now. And at least recycler charge. Quit it. From uh, from uh, recycling the chamber as well, huh? Man, this is a cool game. That was a cool concept. Let's seal the chamber again. Let's be safe. Okay, so it does objects and enemies. Ooh, and I think do I get more of those for free? Like, can I just... No, it looks like it's just the... Oh, you need to put them in. Okay. So that's basically a recycler that uh, costs grenades to, do, to use. Yeah, that's kind of shitty. I mean, it's cool for a demonstration, but... Kind of... Uh, you don't want to use that in general. You use the normal recyclers. I think, uh... I think everything in here 
Yeah, I think I've looted this room. Okay. I wonder if I could recycle people. No, hang on. I can totally get up here. There we go. Well, if I can see where I can get up there. <laughs> Guess not, though. Hey, all right. Let's drop off uh, everything. Like... Oh shit! Shit! I ran right for the metal detector. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to have caused any major issues. if that was a recycling thing or not. Okay. God, I feel dumb. I can't believe I ran right through the metal detector. Let's see if I can't reset the alarm. Yeah, reset checkpoint. No. Oh. oh, okay. So yeah, I've been finding people and it marks them off. Good. Still not what I want to do. Huh. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I don't want to get close to the electricity, because it's zappy zappy. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm safe over here, though. Ah, oh, Dr. Calvino. Oh, this is actually where I'm supposed to be. Calvino probably has a key card. You can locate him, or what's left of him, with the security roster. Ah, okay. So that's what that's for. It's a little bit annoying you have to go back to the computer to do it, but... Fucking bird outside. Oh! Okay, let's be careful here then. Thirty rounds. Going for ammo for this thing, just than I thought I would. Thaddeus York. Robert, Alice, thank God, no one. It's no, still no, not the right. Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I can't. Jesus, you're still in the lab. I can't get out. Why does it Dr. keep Thorstein, going back and forth? Where around? are you? Machine shop. I was just. I, I heard an explosion. Forget that. Grab whatever you can and get to my office. We're evacuating. What? What should I... Neuromogs, exotic material, just hurry. Meet me in my office. Yes, sir. And bring a glue gun. Huh. Why does it always keep going back to the first thing to transcribe? Like, I thought it might just be doing it by accident before, or it was like a... Well, it's always doing it by accident. I, I thought it might be a feature or something I hadn't realized, but now I'm actually wondering if it's a bug. Because that's weird. It's always a loud one, too. It always goes back to the friggin... Jesus. The whole station shaking. No, oh, hang on. I need more blue canisters in here. Huh. And I just dropped off all my, uh... All my recycling stuff. See a gun. Wait a minute. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
was hoping I actually got another gun. Like, it looked very shotgun-like from a distance. Shit. Shit. the phantom list is a person. Like, it's actually weird now. See, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm just gonna go through all the levels I've already been through off camera. Prowl? What the hell is this? Ooh! Ooh! Heck yeah. How do I, how do I enter? Okay. Ooh. Alrighty, that's Andy. Cool. stuff. Which is probably good, but... Yeah, worth pointing out. There's a lot of beer around here, too. Like, I'm seriously starting to wonder how much these people were drinking. Jesus. That is weird. Top of that. Oh, and I should probably heal and repair my suit. Pretty much all those things. Oh, hang on, I should re- But first, I should recycle my wrench and, uh, not my wrench. A wrench and this pistol here. And this glue gun. Because I don't have any use for those. And all this other junk. Ninety-five health. Alrighty, we are looking pretty. Well, sitting pretty. That's what I meant to say. Morgan's pretty, uh, very. Uh, Morgan's fairly attractive too, though. Okay. Well, it probably won't help. Because I know I gotta go through there. But we might as well go through to the security station and do the uh, tutorial thing. Jesus! Hi! <laughs> okay, so they're gonna keep moving around. Right, so, hardware labs. Who's the guy I'm looking for? Car Calvino, right? Lorenzo Calvino? There we go. <sighs> Fucking security station. Did I? Oh, I missed this. How the hell did I. Ooh! Tourist. Okay. buddy now. You stay right there. Okay. I'm wondering if I should drag all this back to the recycler. Yeah, 
because it's all useful. But I don't know if it's. Hmm. I don't. Uh, if I do it, I'll do it off camera. Come here, buddy. Just above me. Okay. You cannot run with this thing. The, the only thing this uh, this auto turret needs is like a, a carrying handle on the top, like a suitcase. You know, that would be super useful. So I gotta get in there. Let's see. Set that there so I don't forget about it. So you found a lever to one. Where the hell, how the hell are you supposed to get in here? It is really strict about the uh, about clearances. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. It was actually hung up on there. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Sir. Oh. Okay, so you can create three operators. Let's clear the area first. I hope they're not attacking kind of things, because if they are, then, then they get pointless. Oops, let's hope nobody loses that noise. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the turret. Return, buddy. Actually, uh, um, uh, drop ceiling. The fault it started falling on me. Move cargo. What's the cargo? Right up there? No, oh, the dead yet? Yeah, okay. Let's take a look around before we start moving stuff around. I don't hear any phantoms in here, but I definitely saw a mimic earlier. Hmm. The fabric is making him stiff enough, not brittle. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Let's wait, touch screens. That's useful. Every operator on this is okay. Not my responsibility, it's Morgan's. Great, so now I need to find all the operators too. Stamps and lines in there. So in the specs. Hmm. All right. Interesting. I want to use cigars. Maybe the fact that maybe the problem is you're all drinking and smoking cigars and, and doing technical stuff in space. I need repair two to fix that. 
annoying. He's got this huge fucking airlock here. He's got a big cargo bay. Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be open from the inside first. Last mm. thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Okay, it burns itself out. In okay. So I don't have a jetpack, so if I go out there, I'm just going to be free-floating, which is, uh, which is bad. You don't want to be free-floating in space. Generally speaking. Okay, so bust up to that, I bust up to that, and I killed the Merrimack. Good job, turret. Didn't take a single hit either. I gotta, I gotta stop looting. I just. Oh, I'm gonna drive myself in the nuts. No, oh, it's not actually busted. It's just. Well, it's it's busted up, but it's not destroyed. Busted. Okay. Alright. And this is door malfunction, okay. Oh, I need to fix that later. Oh, another another telescope. Moon I'm just waiting for like a corpse to float past one of these. Be a jump scare. Or, as I already previously stated, Space Cthulhu. Either's good. There's a lot of fire around here. What is feeding that? Also, how to get in here? This looks important, whatever it is. Yeah, there's lots of glowy stuff in there. I want in. Oh, okay. Oh dear, okay. Very good. Hmm. Oh, shit, radiation. Shit. Okay, that's actually really cool. It gives you radiation warnings in real life. They have a little stands. It gives you a thing on the HUD. I wonder if I can seal it up. Like a no. Okay. Damn. That's interesting, though. It's really interesting. Can I? Radiation. Okay. Still, still uh, leaking. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. Ooh, hang on. Ooh. Fuck. One mix. Too, but he's on the counter for. Mm -hmm. Seems like I'm always losing track of them, and there's always more of them later. Very strange. I guess this is a medical one. I assume if I was wounded. Ooh, ooh, I can make med I can make med kits now. Okay. Shit, that's useful. 
I assume if I was wounded, then that would probably be really handy. Oh, okay. That was open. Still the same God, one. no one else is. Where are you? Writing. I'm in the conference room. I can't. Jesus, you're still in the lab. I can't get out. Hello. Hey, it's Langley. Are you a? Is there anything weird going on over there? No. Like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Security's running all over the place. So everyone's still working there? I guess. I don't know. I've been in the lab all day. Hang on. I'm looking now. I don't. Okay. What was that? Oh my god, I think we just lost two labs. What? I have to go. Shit. Okay. So that's the where that phantom was. I should well no, I can't bring the turret up here because there's too much jumping involved. Damn it. What the hell is this? William Yu. Okay. Huh. Okay, right. Man, I am just way off course here. I, I was trying to find a way back into one of the other labs. Although... Beat him with this. Even better idea. Hit him with the goo cannon. Toss the explosive canister at him. And then shoot it. Even better than I thought it would. Oh, that was awesome. Ah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Alrighty. I, I didn't even have to shoot it. That was awesome. Oh, fuck. That's not as awesome. Man, that thing's. A... It's accurate, like, to a point. But it is, uh. Does not do much damage on his head. He got bit him a few times. Oh, huh. Well, this all looks important. <laughs> all looks incredibly important, in fact. Was, was that jelly deals? Oh my god, it did. <laughs> Good old jelly deals. <laughs> oh, okay. Machine shop. Hmm. Hmm. Vitriophobic. Vitriophobic. I think that means it won't, uh... It won't adhere to life. Like if I if I blasted a human with it, it wouldn't stick to them. Oh shit! Man, I don't want to know what would happen if I tried to eat that. Probably result in me getting my face sucked and uh, my soul sucked out my face. Alrighty. Apparently, there's a structural chair. Space. 
Wait, hang on. I can solve this. Wrench. Pretty clear I need to go drop off all this junk again. <laughs> I'm not even trying to. Might as well use the elevator this time too to see how that works. Did I miss something? Oh! Oh, Kelvin is right over there. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I know where I'm going as soon as I drop off all this stuff. Huh. That is not a, uh... That is not a magnetic, uh, magnetic elevator. That's interesting. Uh, you have to pardon the garbage truck outside. It's noisy as shit. Might be time to start breaking some of this stuff down, actually, because we're running out of space. Yes. Yeah. Break down. You know what? We're getting close to the end of the episode. Tell you what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll go drop off a bunch of this stuff and uh, go break it down and uh, yeah, I'll be right back, basically.